Eric Tucker Morning Report here with Gary Contessa. Gary, you have Becky's Joker going in the Adirondack tomorrow. That's the right there. Can't better timing than that. Horse won the Schuylerville first time asking. Right. What did what type of education did the horse learn there? You know, coming out in that type of race with against some good foes. Well, going into the Schuylerville, that's my that, the negative about doing what I did is that we don't know how she is mentally. Because one thing you can't do is reconstruct a race with seven or eight horses in it in the morning, and especially make her break dead last and overcome that. So, but she from day one she has had the two things that make a really good racehorse. We knew she had talent. Every work was better than the previous work. She just, just kept putting it out there without even being asked. But mentally, she is as stable as a horse can be. She is a rock. She, that the way you see her right now walking, that's how she is 24 seven. She comes back in the stall, she eats the bottom out of her feed tub and she lays down. So mentally, she's great, but I didn't know how she would be mentally. I, you know, I've had horses, you, you think you can't lose a race, you put them in a race, they break slow, they get dirt in their face and they go into full retreat. I've had that happen, but this really just, I was right, you know? It's for all the times that trainers are wrong, I was right that she could handle it mentally and that she could handle it physically. Physically, I had no doubt about, but mentally was the challenge and she really handled it well. So now she's got that under her belt. So now it's a bunch of horses that have already had starts and she's one of them and she had a really good start. I mean, let's face it, she broke dead last. She rushed up behind a wall of horses, waited for an opening, split through the middle of horses and drew off like she's been doing this all her life. So she's really mentally, which is such a, a plus for a trainer. Mentally, she's really got it together. In terms of yourself, emotionally, coming back to Saratoga, winning that race, what was that feeling like really when, you, when you get across the line like oh that? Especially when people doubted it, doubting the horse a little bit on the tote board and just proved everybody wrong. Is this a family uh, channel? No. <laughs> fucking amazing <laughs> okay so it was just the way I wanted it to be I mean I I took a two-year hiatus and trained down in the uh, mid-Atlantic for Bell Gable and made him leading owner both years but nobody notices that you know what I mean I was out of the limelight came back in here took two-year-olds for all of my owners and all my owners sent me one or two of their favorite two-year-olds because that's always been my thing getting two-year-olds to the races early mm -hmm. on and keeping them sound and it was just great I mean, the crowd was, was behind me. I, I went into the crowd and I was high-fiving people and ha hugging them and everything else, you know. That's the good thing about Saratoga. The fans are the best in the world and the racing is the best in the world. So to come back here on the big stage and win a grade three with a first time starter was exactly, I couldn't have, I couldn't have choreographed it any better. Well, good luck tomorrow. Becky's Joker going in the Adirondack. Thank you very much.